Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about pulmonary edema imaging. Immunology. Pulmonary edema is optimal accumulation of extravascular lung water, like hydrostatic edema, permeability edema with diffuse alveolar damage, acute respiratory distress syndrome. Uh, mobility edema without diffuse alveolar damage, like opiate overdose edema, transfusion related lung injury, trally, high altitude pulmonary edema, HP, mixed edema, neurogenic pulmonary edema, re expansion pulmonary edema. So now we will look detail about one by one of type of the pulmonary edema. The first one we call hydrostatic edema. The common etiology caused by cardiogenic edema. Elevated pulmonary dairy pressure in case of left ventricle failure mitral stenosis, and another cause of it could be by fluid overload or renal failure. Other cause and uncommon agility for the hydrostatic edema are acute and chronic pulmonary thromboembolism, acute asthma, post obstructive pulmonary edema, acute and chronic thromboembolism, pulmonary venoocclusive disease, divine occlusion, like in case of the neoplasm, fibrosing myasthenitis, ablation of atrial fibrillation. Permeability edema with diffuse alveolar damage. For example, acute respiratory distress syndrome, threat embolism syndrome. Permeability edema without diffuse alveolar damage, in like in the case of opiate overdose. IV cocaine, crack cocaine inhalation, transfusion related lung injury with uh, clinical like dyspnea, hypoxemia, and bilateral pulmonary opacity within six hours after transfusion of blood product. High altitude pulmonary edema, happy. Immunotherapy, C token administration, interleukin 2, smoke inhalation. And mic edema, both hydrostatic and permeability edema, neurogenic pulmonary edema, re expansion pulmonary edema, repeat edema. Droning pulmonary edema, postpneumoectomy pulmonary edema. Another cause of pulmonary edema with complex physiology like pulmonary embolism, immersion pulmonary edema, docolytic therapy to delay premature delivery, preeclampsia, eclampsia. So what are the clinical presentation of the pulmonary edema? First one, pulmonary edema can show like respiratory distress, dyspnea, hypoxemia, hypoxemia, cough, crack cough. In case of hydrostatic or cardiogenic edema, shirt, heart sound, S3, ventricular, feeling cough. Uh, gallop. 
Ascultatory record snap open of small airway inlay, inspiration, supine portion, posterior, muscle. ARDS symptom within 6 to 70 hours from inciting event. Opiate overdose, high index of suspicious appropriate history, symptom within our or drug injection of drug injection, the risk factor may set suit short duration of opioid use. Trally symptom within six hours of trend blood transfusion have risk factor in your susceptibility may set Cold temperature, pre-existing pulmonary infection, vigorous exertion, symptom two to four days after arrival of high altitude. Neurogenic edema, early sign, symptom within minute, two hour post neurologic injury, late stage, symptom twelve to twenty four hour post neurological injury. Re-expansion edema, young patient with extreme sustained atelectasis, 64 hour with symptom in first hour post pleural puncture. Clinical profile, brain type natriuretic optic and N terminal pro B Thai natriuretic peptide. Use for diagnosing heart failure, cardiogenic pulmonary edema, product in response to ventricular stretch, 80 to 90 percent accuracy, 96 percent value. Pulmonary capillary vent pressure evolving role for use of pulmonary artery catheterization. More than 18 mm Hg, cardiogenic edema volume overload, pathophysiology, vascular restriction redistribute pulmonary capillary wet pressure around 12 to 25 interstitial edema pulmonary capillary wet pressure of 20 to 30 alveolar edema pulmonary capillary wet pressure or more than 25 to 30. Hydrostatic cardiogenic edema caused by increased capillary hydrostatic pressure like in case of left heart failure, volume overload over dehydration, in case of decreased intravascular on cortic pressure like in case of hypoalbuminemia, hepatic, or renal failure. ARDS, respiratory symptom within one week of clinical insult, plus bilateral pulmonary opacity on image, plus exclusion of heart failure or fluid overload as cause of symptom, increased permeability of capillary and alveolar endothelial cell, Respiratory failure not explained by heart failure or fluid overload. Opiate overdose, unclear pathophysiology, postulated a role of direct drug in to uh, toxicity, hypoxia, and acidosis. In case of trally, postulated a role of transfusion of anti leukocyte antibody or bioactive substance, susceptible recipient, mechanical ventilation, positive fluid balance, 
smoking, chronic alcoholism, shock, liver, cardiac surgery, increased risk with transfusion of female plasma, and whole blood. Help. Rapid ascent to altitude. 3,000 to 4,000 meters, excessive pulmonary artery pressure lead to non-uniform hypoxic vas uh, vasoconstriction, resultant intra-alveolar leakage of high molecule wage protein cell and fluid. Neurogenic edema. Abrupt increase in of intracranial pressure with activation of sympathetic system and resultant catecholamine release. Effect on pulmonary capillary endothelium not understand, not understood. Re-expansion edema. For postulated acute inflammatory response to it. Re-expansion plus our capillary membrane damage. In radiograph, in case of hydrostatic cardiogenic edema. So we can find by vascular pedicle, marker of increased central venous pressure and increased circulation blood volume. Missy up to 58 millimeter in normal subject. Pulmonary venous hypertension, chronic elevation of left arterial pressure. Interstitial edema, like we can find the pericular test or vascular indistinctness, subpleural edema, peripronchial sickening or coughing, interlobular subtal Sickening, Kelly B line, A and C line, increased lung density. Avola edema can find the consolidation, predilection for a right line, but wing edema less than 10%, rapid onset of heart failure, asymmetry, underlying lung disease. Portion chain acute mitral regurgitation from capillary, capillary muscle rupture, preferential right upper lobe involvement. Associated finding cardiomegaly and light pulmonary vessel, pleural obstruction bilateral, right more than left, intra fissure of fluid, temporal evolution, unpredictable. Interstitial edema may not follow pulmonary venous hypertension. Avola edema may not follow interstitial edema. Imaging abnormality may predate clinical sign. Interstitial edema resolve rapidly. Avola edema resolve slowly. So this is the first case, chiratograph with hydrostatic cardiogenic edema. So short, seen clearly be line, perpendicular to the lateral pleural and long, the oblique line, typical radiography manifestation of the hydro hydrostatic cardiogenic edema. Second chair radiograph. So asymmetry of edema that may be manifest as bilateral perihilar haze and consolidation respectively. Not very bronchial coughing. Fissural pleural sickening. And bilateral pleural fusion. This chair radiograph. So, preferential right upper lobe avola edema, secondary to re 
glucagon flow of blood from an incompetent mitra while cardiomegaly and in life, left atrial appendix and bilateral coral effusion. Liche radiograph So method used to measure the vascular pedicle, which is horizontal distance between the superior vena cava in surface as it crosses the right main stem bronchi and the origin of the left subclavian artery. This is uh, another chest x-ray. Of a 48 years old woman with mitral disease, so pulmonary venous hypertension that manifested with vascular distribution of her lung vessel. Are larger than those in the lower limb. Compose, compose are making frontal radiograph of the patient with interstitial edema before on the left and after treatment on the right with a resultant degrees Y and vascular pedicle. A normal vascular pedicle may be measured up to 58 mm. So this image so an indistinct margin of the right and Interlobar pulmonary artery, peripronchial sickening, and fissure furrow sickening, which result after management, after treatment. This side of the graph, so curly B line, which represents sick inter. Global area. Global area. This is radiograph. So, sick inter global subtang that manifests as curly B line, which are short thin peripheral line perpendicular to the floral space surface and best visualize in the lung base on frontal chest radiograph node curly A line which follow an oblique course toward the hilum hilum. Each radiograph so Pericola has manifested sting has increased density in the central aspect of the lung, which is in blurring or distance of the In another case with same patient, so resolution of pericola hesi and sharp margin of the right interloba pulmonary artery by solid arrow following response to treatment.